Callaway's Tech Talk at three with Louise Humphreys from Real Sam. So welcome everybody um, to Tech Talk at three. It's Andrew from Galloway's. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it's great to have you with us again, uh, Louise Humphreys from Real Sam uh, Technology. Um, this is this is the third time that you've uh, you've been on the Tech Talk in 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 the last twelve months. Uh, it is. And, yeah, brilliant. And we've looked at um, we've looked at in your pocket the smartphone, and we when we got a glimpse of. The, the real Sam uh, Google and um, a lady um, skill that you were that you were bringing out um, that I believe is on the horizon so but I believe you want to tell us more about it so over to you yeah thank you Andrew and yeah it's great to be back on I've always found this group such a fun group to to meet and we get really good feedback from you as well so um, it'll be good to get some more of your thoughts and ideas today um, but yeah as, as Andrew said we as you know, Real Sam have got a couple of products in the UK market. We've had the um, Real Sam Pocket phone here for about three years, um, originally with RNIB and O2. Um, and that handset um, brings books and podcasts and radio, magazines, newspapers, um, all into one voice activated um, device. And uh, you can obviously use it for, for phone calls and texts and, and everything else as well. Um, but we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about our smart speaker service that we launched um, initially in March. We launched in, in March onto Google speakers, so Google ones that you might have at home. Um, and just yesterday, actually, we launched it on the Amazon Alexa speakers. So uh, we're still barely um, out of beta test mode. We're you're the first group we're talking to about this. Um, yeah, we launched yesterday. Wow, we feel yeah. privileged. Do you feel <laughs> you privileged? Are. Yeah. So, so it is. It's exciting that we've come to talk to you first. Um, but we've done that because actually Galloway's was one of the first organisations to say we want to be part of this. So, when I first met Andrew, um, when I joined the team here, probably back in July, um, Galloway's just instantly came across as one of the most tech savvy, digitally forward-thinking charities in the UK. So um, we wanted to partner with you because... We need to sample that. Are... I'm sampling what you just said there. We're yeah. going to get that recorded. And, <laughs> Use yeah. that for a review. But... Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but genuinely, I, I believe that. That was true, that you guys were already doing heaps of things that were really exciting yourselves. And if you think about where we were last Ju July, we were in, you know, well, lockdown, probably the end of lockdown one, weren't we? Um, but we'd all have to had to make that shift into remote meetings, remote conversations, Zoom, and and everything else. And you guys embraced it really quickly. And it was yeah, you're about, right, you're right. Yeah, and I think I did. think the thing is though, it's like we we embraced it, but we did need everybody else to embrace it as well. And all the guys on here today, and even people that aren't on here today that come on some of our other events, everybody's kind of took to that challenge. And, and and now everybody's got, you know, the people that weren't that digital, you know, have now got a, have got a permanent kind of digital element to their life because they know if they, have, they don't do that, then they, they're kind of missing out on things. So people have really kind of stood up to that and, and, and got on board with it. Yeah. which is great you know we can't do it without all the guys on today yeah so when we first started talking to you and I suppose we were talking to some of the other charities that we worked with um there was perhaps a role for Real Sam um to help you or help some of the other charities the smaller ones perhaps were getting their information online um and we also knew that in your pocket wasn't necessarily for everybody you know people have already got a phone or um, they've got other ways that they're they're communicating that they weren't in the market for another phone product, um, but they really do value what this is the feedback we got. People really value being able to access audio books, podcasts, and other information. So it was back then really that the idea for our smart speaker product came about, and we set about building something that did just that. That there'd be one place on speakers that. And um, people could find everything that the visually impaired community might need. So we've brought some of our audiobook libraries onto the smart speaker. Um, we've brought all of our podcasts. We've brought radio stations. Now, radio stations are also on speakers generically, but um, we've created 
I guess, a, a home, a real Sam home where everything is in one place. Um, and then we went out to all of these different charity partners that we had and um, more broadly across the disability press and said, we can help you with putting your information online if that's if that's useful for you. Um, and so far we've recruited 15 charities to do that. Um, some of them already had their information available on websites and on smart speakers, but um, most of them didn't. So in many cases, we've actually helped people do that for the first time. So people like Blind Veterans UK, um, with Henshaws have got their information on there. Um, we've got the Infosound broadcasts on there. Obviously, we've got Galloway's on there. Who was the um, first? Who was the first charity to go on? I think it was you, genuinely. Was it us? I think <laughs> it was you. Um, and, you know, you already had your Alexa skill at that point. I think you'd only just launched it. Yeah, but uh, you probably were one of the first to say, "Yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll we'll try. We'll see if that's helpful." And I think it was all about, from your perspective, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you kind of had a view. Well, we'll do whatever we can to get our information out there because we just want to make it as easy as possible for people to find our our resources. And if if your platform's another way that is making it easier for people, then then that's good for for us too. Um, and certainly Henshaw's had that same vision. They've got, you probably know your neighbouring charity, they've got their knowledge village on their website um, and their sound advice files. And, and so they've given us some of that. And that's not just regionalised, that's information that they see as good resources for the whole community. Um, and again, if they can extend their reach um, through us, then, then they're really on board with that. Um, we've got the... I'm not sure how relevant it is to each of you, but Torch Trust, a, a Christian library, they've come on board. They certainly didn't have anything on smart speakers before. So they've been really pleased that we've been able to bring their catalogue on board um, for the first time. And, and we are doing this at no cost to the charity. So um, that's why it is a subscription service. And um, so, you know, I just need to be I guess, clear on that, that is uh, as a new customer to Real Sam to sign up for one year to our smart speaker service is £19.90. So not even two pounds a month, but essentially that's how we're we're running it as a service. So we're not a charity as, a, as an organization. So um, in us supporting the charities by creating that digital service for them, um, it is a subscription service to access. Um, but right now we've got I think it's around 27,000 audiobooks. Um, Caliber is our main audiobook partner. Um, and again, they weren't already on smart speakers. So that's been something that they've been really happy with. Um, there's the LibriVox Library, the Project Gutenberg Library, and as I mentioned, Torch Trust. We haven't got the RNIB Library on there um, right now. Um, and really, that's because of the fact that they are about to launch their own their own one as well. So um, we continue to work really closely with them. And In Your Pocket has the full RNIB audiobook library. Um, and we're hopeful that we can continue to work together and, and potentially their library come on board with us um, later this year. Um, and as you might know, we're a, we're a global business. Um, we're small, but we're a global business. We're based out of Australia. And we have a presence in the US. So um, we're actively talking to other large libraries overseas right now. So um, anyone who does sign up to our subscription for one year at this point in time, they'll get the benefit of all of the additional things that we add to it over the year. So we're, we're actively talking to newspaper, magazines and other audiobook libraries so that um, the content and I guess the benefit of, of subscribing will grow. Um, so that's where we are today. We're, we're still looking for more information. Um, and I'll ask you at the end, I'll, sorry, I'll show you how it works, but I'd be really interested in feedback from you all around, how can we make this more relevant and more valuable for you? Um, assuming you already use smart speakers or um, smart speakers is something that you do have an interest for in, in your home. Um, our vision is to create a global home for blind people and smart speakers. Um, that's certainly where we're heading towards. And actually, just this afternoon, um, we have 
won an award for just that. There's a, a conference in the US that's going on today about voice technology. Um, and this real sound product did win the category. It's unbelievable that we won, um, but we were judged across lots of other businesses that have been working hard in this space. And, and the vision of what we're trying to do was recognized as, as the global leader really. So we're very early days. Um, we're still building out the product, but we believe that the product is something that has you know, potential, I suppose, if nothing else so would you yeah, fair yeah. to say that you know it's a more specialized service um, um specifically for for blind and partially sighted people through their smart speaker so it's yes. it's hand-picked material that you know the the and, and probably some exclusive material that's not available elsewhere as well i'm thinking of some of the newspaper stuff and the magazines and things that you know would normally be available um, to the general public on a smart speaker it's more specialized yeah so there's there's two parts to it there's yeah the specialized content that we've handpicked for the community so you know the the information from the charities and and certain podcasts and things that are very much targeting the blind community and then there's also content that has specifically been made available to the blind community so if you think about something like the caliber audio library yeah they have um, audiobooks that are free for the blind community to to listen to um, that normally you would be paying a subscription to an audible or another you know digital book service to to listen to now we're not charging you to access caliber we're, we're certainly not doing that but um, by creating an interface and, and working with caliber to put their service onto a smart speaker it's meant that that's just another way that you can easily listen to their their material and they've not had to go and create a separate smart speaker service to do that yeah i think there's like an element to the 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 books on smart speakers at the moment where um it's not it's not really a fluent experience there's still an element of having to say for example audible having to go on the audible app or the website purchase the book that and then that you can then access it on your smart speaker the, there yeah. seems to be a, an element where people want to not have to do that, just use the smart speaker and ask for that book, you know, um, through a, I suppose, more of a subscription basis rather than purchasing a book, you know, individually at any one time. It's like, well, just the books are available through our skill. Just ask for the one that you want. And that yeah. that's the key, really, for me, is having that experience. And that's what makes the your Google or your, your A-Lady super accessible when you don't have to pick the smartphone up to do the first bit as essentially yeah you don't so with ours you can search by um author or title or library so um you can be within the caliber library and search and listen to a long long list but you'd be there for a long time because there's you know 20 or thousand books um or if you know what you're looking for you can ask specifically for what you're looking for which um, and then you can also add things to a bookshelf. So you don't have to listen to a book straight away. You can have a number of books that you've kind of, you know, earmarked to listen to, and you can listen to different books from your bookshelf at, at the same time, if that makes sense. So, you know, you could have 10 books that you've got on the go um, about different, completely different genres and subjects and, and listen to them that way. So, so that works quite well. Um, and yeah, like I think the book reading function we see is kind of the main benefit today. Um, but as I said, our vision is to try and create that, that hub um, so that it's easier for, for the user. So, you know, we all know what it's like. You've got all these different things that you have to go into now to access. I've got my banking thing here and I've got my, I don't know, my email thing here. <laughs> I've got whatever different apps or, or services you know, a business is trying to put you towards can actually create confusion because you've just got so many different places you need to be looking for. Um, and what we're trying to do is make it easier and have everything in the one place. So, you know, what, what would make the most sense for us to focus on building out next? You know, we focus on the books, the podcasts, and some of the information that we know that people have valued from, from In Your Pocket. Um, 
but if we were to look at other information sources you know what what would that entail and how could we make that um more relevant and more supportive for the community is it is it information from health services for example or is it um you know entertainment that you need or you know what what would actually work well so and should that be regionalized or should that be um for the uk as a whole um so you know there's there's huge potential and, and huge options and i think you know for us we want to make sure that whatever we do build is actually hitting the mark um, so what yeah what 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 people want and, and essentially that's kind of you build something like that you 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 do you've got to do all that research and come and speak to people like i suppose what you're doing today and and you'll definitely get some good feedback and ideas from the guys on here for sure so that's that definitely a, a great yeah. thing so so i'm ex i'm excited to like to to know how it works and how does it um what does it sound like and things like that so yeah. it sounds sounds really great I always get really nervous with live demonstrations. I feel like I'm still oh, a newbie in this some... organisation. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, there's um, no, there's no pressure. There's no pressure on a live demonstration. I mean, yeah. they, they'll, everyone will tell you on here some of some of the the live demonstrations that I've done that haven't gone all to all to scratch. So uh, there's there's absolutely no pressure there. Um, yeah. And um, I suppose as well a, a word of warning that uh, anyone that's got a Google speaker or an A lady speaker. Yeah. Um, please mute them <laughs> well we won't hear we won't hear your speaker going off only you will so we'll be okay but yeah <laughs> oh okay yeah so i know i'm uh, i'm always in meetings at the moment where we're talking about our products and someone uses you know one of those cheeky <laughs> word. words yeah, and yeah. everyone's speakers start talking to each other and it all gets a little bit noisy <laughs> um, okay so i'll turn mine on and uh i'll just actually let me just explain first there's the way you would activate this right now is you can purchase a subscription through our website if you're a brand new customer. Um, and I'll just tell you this first so you understand the kind of process. Um, and you would sign up on our website and then you'd be given an activation code. And that activation code you could use on either your Google speaker or your Amazon speaker or both of them. So if you're someone who, I'm sure Andrew is this guy who has that's me. In, yeah, in your that's home, me. <laughs> <laughs> that same code can work for both. So you can activate both, you put your code in, um, you do that through voice and um, essentially that's then locked in. Um, and so you buy a single subscription to Real Sam speaker. Um, you don't buy one per speaker or one per type of speaker. So you don't have to buy an Amazon one and a Google one. Um, and if you've got more than one speaker in your house, as long as they're all linked to the same user, um, you, you're away. It should work in every room that, that you have a speaker in. So that's hopefully kind of quite simple. Um, and if you have any issues, then our support team, the same as within your pocket, we've got a support team based in Peterborough. Um, and they can do anything for you on the phone. They can remind you of activation codes and help you out and all that kind of stuff. So they're there Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. And um, and yeah, we think that's one of our kind of key strengths actually that we've got that team here in, in the UK. And so if you get stuck, you can just pick up the phone and, and they'll help you to get set up. So, so here we go, right, I'll turn it on. So the first thing you have to say is open real Sam. So I will do that now. <laughs> Alexa, open Real Sam. Welcome you to Real Sam. You are now connected to service Alexander. We are using your email to save your preferences and the history of your recent operations. You can now ask, for instance, read me a book or use a guide. Read me a book. Listing available book sources. One, recently read. Two, your bookshelf. Three, Calibre Audio Library. Four, LibriVox Audio Library. Five, Torch Trust Audio Library. Say a number or words from the options. Alexa, find books with title Harry Potter. Listing books with title Harry Potter in the Calibre Source. Initial 5 of 22. 1. The Science of Harry Potter by Roger Highfield. 2. 
Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. 3. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. Alexa. Four. You selected Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Say, play, or go back, or add to my bookshelf. Wow. Description. Harry can't wait to get back Alexa. to Hogwarts, but why are the... Play. I like the fact it gives you a synopsis of the book. The that was Prisoner quite good. Of Azkaban. Starting Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, track one. Please wait. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. This book belongs to Calibre Cassette Library and is a cover to cover recording. Calibre would like to thank the author, J.K. Rowling, and Christopher Little for their kind permission for us to use this recording for our members. It is illegal to copy or alter these tapes. The book is read by Stephen Fry. Chapter One Owl Post. Alexa, pause. Now, okay, paused. <laughs> Anything else I can help with? No. Oh, that was so good by Alexa. <laughs> just... <laughs> um, so, anyway, I'll just I'll stop that for a moment, but just to kind of go through what we did there. Now, I tried to get us to a book in a way that allowed you to get a little bit more of the experience, but didn't spend too long getting there. Now, you could have sat and listened to every library and we could have sat and listened to, you know, all of those different menus. I kept interrupting it and I could have interrupted it more. I could have jumped straight to, you know, read me a book about Harry Potter or read me the title. Um, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to kind of, you know, remove the fact that you could see a little bit more about how it works. But essentially what we're able to do there is identify that there was multiple libraries um, and there's multiple ways of looking for books and information within a library or, or across the whole catalogue. Um, it gave me the option to add the book to my bookshelf. So at the very start, I could have just said, you know, read my bookshelf. Um, and it would have given me the options of whatever I've got saved on there. And then a bit like the other Real Sam products, you can jump forward as well. So instead of listening to all of those kind of long descriptions, and we're working on making those a little bit kind of tighter so you don't have to listen to them all the time. But, um, you know, to your point, Andrew, it's actually probably quite useful in many ways to get that description because you can um, get, a, you know, a synopsis of is this the right yeah. book for me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but once you're already reading, you don't necessarily want to keep hearing that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I think it's probably fair to say what you demonstrated there was because you've used it before. And like, you know, you guys listening today, if, if you use the service, you'd 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 start re you remembering that, OK, when I go into the find a book library, it's going to read me the library numbers. Oh, and I know already know that number four is R&IB. So I just interrupt it straight away and say four or R and I B yeah. and you, you know, so when you first use it, it will be a slower experience because you'll be navigating the menus and learning where things are. Whereas you demonstrated there, Louise, that, well, I know where some of these menus are already, so I can just interrupt it and move to where I need to go. Yeah, that's it. Um, just to, I guess, a watch out that you do need to be registered with Calibre to access the Calibre library. So that's completely free to register with Calibre and you just, um, we can actually help you with registering with them. Um, and we're trying to automate again that bit of the process as well, so that once you register with us, you register with them. Um, but right now we have to um, help you to get that set up. So if you're already a Calibre member, you'll not have any problems. But if you're not, then you have to create a Calibre account. Um, and I'm conscious that, you know, perhaps people haven't used Calibre as widely as maybe the RNIB library. Um, but it's a it's a really valuable source. They've got some great stuff on there. It's actually really useful for young people and children as well. They've got a lot of children's content. Um, they've got quite a lot of educational material on there. They've got um, academic textbooks um, that are linked in with the GCSEs and other key stages of, of education. So, um, so it's a good one to have them 
on board and obviously we'd love the RLIB to be on board as well but uh, right now Calibre is probably our our richest book source that, that we have on on the smart speaker um, so just to kind of explain how that one one works um, so let me go back into it I might have to start it again just because I've had it turned off for a bit um, Alexa open real Sam Welcome back, Louise, to Real Sam. I'm Alex Approd. What can I do for you? Tell me about all you have. These are all sources of information matching your request. Select an item. First, by the 15. 1. Be my eyes. 2. Berkshire Vision. 3. Blind Veterans. 4. Blind Veterans UK. Five. Galloway's Society for the Blind. Hey. Or a number or words from the <laughs> Galloway's. Or thing next to advance. You can also Alexa. say jump five. These contents are provided by Galloway Society for the Blind, a local sight loss charity based in the northwest of England. Select an item. One. Introduction to Galloway's. Two, my magazine, latest edition. Three, what is going on at Galloway's, latest edition. Four, the Galloway's podcast on SoundCloud. Say a number or words from the options. Alexa, two. You selected I magazine, latest edition. A regular feature by Galloway's. But your funky music, Andrew? Yeah. Uh, Alexa, pause. So. Okay, paused. Anything else I can help with? No, thanks. So what I did then um, is, you'll have noticed I said the phrase. That is a very polite way to slap down my hopes and dreams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have you done to us? Wow. <laughs> Alexa, oh. cancel. Um, Stacking down my home. hopes and dreams. I uh, I might have to talk to our development team. For <laughs> 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 so often, I think they, they weave in some, uh, some jokes. <laughs> um, anyway, so what I was actually trying to say is that I mentioned the 15 organisations that we've worked with to bring their information online. Now, the phrase I used at the start there was, tell me about all you have, which is um, essentially the way to get to the menu at the moment of all of those organisations. But what I would normally do is say, tell me about Galloway's. Um, and the phrase, tell me about Galloway's would get me straight in to the latest Galloway's material. Um, and we're now pulling that from um, the Galloway's website, essentially, and we've got uh, always got the latest information. So we've got the latest Galloway's Eye magazine and the latest Galloway's What's On, which is great. Um, obviously, you've already got it in your Alexa skill. But if you think about this, isn't just on Alexa, it's on the Google speaker as well. Yeah, so yeah. that's, um, that's why that is that's useful, because if you're not an Alexa user at home um, and you do have the Google speaker, then we've been able to create that solution for Galloway. So that's um, yeah, that's why that's useful for you guys too. Um, and yeah, the last thing that we do at the moment is we've got some podcasts in there. Um, so uh, we've got a number of different podcast sources. So let's see if I can get that to work for you. Alexa, open Real Sam. Welcome back, Louise, to Real Sam. I'm Alex Approt. What can I do for you? List podcasts. I have podcasts from eight sources. The first five are one, Vision Impaired Collection, Vic. Two, Royal National Institute for the Blind, RNIB. Three, RNIB News Agent, News Agent. Four, British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC. Five, Australian Broadcasting Corporation, ABC. Please select one or say next for more. Next. 
Great. Remaining three are one. Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC. Two. U.S. National Public Radio, NPR. Three. TED Talks, TED. Please select one. Fine. I have one TED podcast. TED Talks, audio. I have many episodes of TED Talks, audio. One. A NASA astronaut's lessons on fear, confidence and preparing for spaceflight. Megan MacArthur, from yesterday. Two, four myths and misunderstandings about doing business in Africa, no matter Zainatso, from two days ago. Three, the giant leaps in language technology Alexa, and who's left. The TED Talks are great if anyone's not tried TED Talks. Fine. There's some really good Finding stuff on, material on there. material that could change the world. Alexa, third time. Stop. Um, yeah, so what still isn't completely stopping. Sorry, <laughs> Alexa, I can't do that. Cancel. Bye for now. Um, yeah, so you'll have heard there that there's a number of different sources that we're pulling podcasts from. And what you can also do is then you can start searching for subjects as well. So you could say list podcasts about football results or list podcasts right. about, you know, something that you're interested in and instead of presenting them by those um organizations you would get a uh, a short list of podcasts by subject area so that's quite good because it's not that easy to do that through the normal a lady or google you know through the normal platform it's not that easy to find stuff that you don't know about yeah. That's what I find anyway. Unless you know the name of the podcast, it's it's quite hard to just say, "Oh, I want to try and find." Like, well, you you go on your phone and look at podcasts. Essentially, yeah. you know, you're creating, you are creating this more this experience where you can actually search with your voice, which is which is easier actually for people. Yeah, like that's the whole essence of what real or real Sam does as a company. So our core product is actually the voice engine. You know, that's what we do and it's how we put that to good use that we're really focused on right now so initially we created the phone because we were working with RNIB and there was feedback that having a fully voice activated phone that also had you know the media and everything on there was what people needed um, and that's really our core skill set as a business that we can create something like I guess the Alexa search engine but it can be multi-command. So, you know, you can do that drilling down. Um, so you can search for podcasts and then search within podcasts about a specific subject. A lot of the other interfaces, and you know, I'm certainly not a, a complete expert on this, but they have a single question and a single response. So, you know, you can ask it for the weather and it will tell you the weather, but then that will be the end of your interaction. Whereas what we're trying to do is create layers and so it's a bit more of a conversation um, and so that's how we can drill down within information because we can keep asking well you can keep asking questions and we can keep getting more um specific in our responses to you uh, uh, yeah and the the, the a lady there she's she's been very um She's, she's been very polite at the end by, you know, like when you're on a telephone conversation with, with an advisor or someone on the phone where they say, you know, is there anything else I can help you with? So there's always an opportunity to get more help, you know, with that. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's kind of where we are as, as we stand today. It's got, like I said, I think it's got some radio stations on there. We have, I know it has not, I think. Um, so you can, within Real Sam, still play the radio. Um, there's one newspaper on there right now um but we are looking to bring on board more newspapers um as an urgent priority and and we're talking to more organizations and seeing who else would like us to to bring their information online too so um yeah we we literally launched yesterday <laughs> so i feel like i've done okay to get through a demo without yeah, no, any major mistakes 
<laughs> to the very uh, beginning. So just just to reiterate, so so buying this is for, for twelve months at the moment. It's ninety nineteen ninety nine. I think it. Uh, nineteen pounds ninety. Yeah. No, oh, nineteen pounds. Right. Okay. And yeah. then actually setting it up on a on a on a smart speaker or device. Do, 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 is there a little bit you might you need to do with the app as well to get that set up? Or uh, can it be can it be done? You have to enable it within the app. So yeah. within the Alexa app, it will. So what you would do is you would say um, you'd buy it online. You'd get your activation code emailed to you. We would send you a quick start guide so that yeah. before you do anything, you've got instructions from us. And obviously, that's all been created in an accessible way. So screen readers and the like will be able to pick up. Um, yeah, so essentially, I can read it for you off the screen. I've got it in front of me. So, you know, you'll get the code when you subscribe to the service. Um, go to your speaker, say Alexa, open Real Sam, um, and then it will ask you to read your activation code, and it will be a five. Um, oh wow! So you don't have to. You code. don't have to. Oh, that's brilliant. So there's no using a smartphone whatsoever here to actually set it up. It's literally just enable the skill with your voice put the code in with your voice yeah so one thing i have noticed though i think what you do have to do just to be 100 percent clear is you are likely to already have or whoever's create set up your amazon speaker you would have the alexa app on your phone i yeah. think within that you have to accept permissions for yeah, yeah. Alexa okay. to have your email and something else um and i say this i'm not pretending to be professional now but um <laughs> Uh, I know from doing that myself, I had to accept press literally, you know, press one button. Yeah. Um, yeah. Grant permissions to real Sam. That's what you do. You 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 get asked to do that, um, and then you're granting permissions to give us, which we've already got because you've already bought it online, your first name and your email address, um, and that's essentially you press one button, accept that, and then you're away. Um, so. There is a tiny thing you have to do in the app, but that's kind of an Amazon thing. I think you have to do that when you enable any skill as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, certain skills that use your information, certainly you do You yeah. do normally have to do that, yeah. yeah. Um, now, that's really good. And I suppose if you've got any problems, you can get in touch with, with the support team as well. Absolutely, if yeah. So if you forget your code, if you haven't got it to hand, um, you can just call us up. We can get it off our system super easy um and as i said that same code works across all of your smart speakers cool um so yeah if you're a person that has one downstairs and one upstairs um, and maybe one of each kind you can use that code to get into all of them and um you should well you can pick up where you left off as well so if you start listening to a book upstairs when you go downstairs it will remember where you were and you can carry on reading it yeah. from the same place on on the speaker downstairs brilliant so you can do you can do your you, you can cook your tea you can then have your tea listen to it in your living room you can then yeah, yeah you can go and do the ironing you can go up to the bedroom you can listen to it while you're putting your clothes away you come back downstairs yeah well you can do that at my house anyway because i've got an a lady in most rooms in the house so yeah, yeah, he's pretty... like a great husband. How, are you genuinely doing the ironing and putting the clothes away? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I put the washing machine on. I can put the clothes away. Um, no, no, I'm more of the washing machine now, person. Um, but no, I'm not the ironing. No, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm good at ironing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, can I get you to have a word with my husband? <laughs> No, I need a smart iron, but no, yeah, I've got a steamer. I've got a steamer that that works yeah. quite well. But no, um, yeah, it's great that I think I think you know in in general this is great in 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 this marketplace. It's quite a niche marketplace, but it's it's great to see this moving forward. Um, you know, and I mean, I know as you said before, like we've got a skill. You 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 know, real Sam are coming along with 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 this opportunity. Um. To make things easier and, and more uh, practical, for, for, you know, for, for for finding information with a dedicated skill, um, and you know, obviously, an R and R and I B are doing their own things. But I think everybody is pushing each other to new to, to new heights as well. You know, there's only like one person doing something. It wouldn't there wouldn't be any competition, or there wouldn't be any you wouldn't learn off other other projects. And I think it's great that all these things are now coming to the A lady and coming to Google. 
um, you know, all these kind of niche things now, which is great. People are getting, you know, you're gaining access to that, to that technology and being able to you, you know, and you, you're able to use that uh, to get out to more people, which I think is really good. And, you know, that, that, that's excellent. Yeah. I really like it. Um, looking forward to trying it as well. Um, yeah. So do you think you're up to maybe taking some questions from, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. And I'd love to get your feedback as well. I think, you know, as I said, you're the want. first group that we've spoken to. So um, we did go through a beta test process. I will caveat it with that, that we had um, probably 12 people that were working with us when we were building it and they were testing it and giving us feedback on content and pricing and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So, um, but yeah. you were the first group, you know, in the real world that we've shown it to and, and yeah. spoken to about it properly. So it would be great to get your thoughts on you know, what we could do differently, better. Or maybe okay. we're doing it well now. So that would yeah, be, yeah, yeah. be a good no. thing too. Absolutely, absolutely. I've sent a, I've sent a message to everybody if, if anybody wants to unmute and, and ask a question. Um, um, Louise, I, I'm, unfortunately, I've had to take a couple of work phone calls during your presentation, so I've missed little bits of it. So uh, apologies to everybody else if you're kind of going back on something you've already said. You mentioned about a subscription. Can you just clarify, was that monthly or was it annually? So just uh, as we start, we're selling it as a, a one-off price for the first year. So £19.90, if you bought it today, would cover you until May of 2022. Um, but when you sign up, you are on a subscription that would renew in May of next year. So you could cancel it at any point in that time, but it would revert onto a monthly payment of what we intend to be £9.95 in May 2022. Oh, um, right. So, yeah, yeah. so it, it's quite a different amount, isn't it, annually after the first year? Yeah. So our, our plan, I guess our vision, is that by the time we get to this time next year, this will be a bigger and better service with you know, all of the books and content and information you could ever, you could ever need. Um, and it, it, I guess it makes it comparable with what you'd be paying for an Audible or maybe another type of subscription at that yeah. point. Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. on the lines of like uh, Spotify, Netflix, Audible, right, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, if you did sign up today, obviously you, the £19.90 price is... Um, is the price oh. for 12 months um, and then it's up to you really how you go over that year obviously we hope that by the end of the 12 months you're seeing enormous value and uh, you know it's a, a really key part of your world um, and if yeah <laughs> if you don't see that by the by the end of the year you can you can just cancel it whenever okay. you want really. but in the normal course of things Louise um, you know I mean obviously if I was telling clients about this um, then um, would it be £9.95 per month from the offset in, in ordinary circumstances? Because, I mean, obviously, my clients aren't listening to this now, are they? So no. so we've got the opening offer going right now, and we haven't got a close date on that. Um, we envisage right. that that'll be available for the first few months. Um, that, okay. You know, just while we're getting established, while we're getting feedback, while we're, um, you know, making sure that it works as well as it possibly can so it works yeah. well um but we're, we're obviously hoping to continue to improve it in the next few months so yeah so if you were telling people about it the price they'd pay right now is is 19 pounds 19 that would give them 12 months worth of access right. that's great thank you very much for clarifying i like the fact that it's a year's a year's worth as well yeah. because it, yeah. it does give you that really good longevity to absolutely start you know, all the range of things that you that you have and, and get to get used to using it because some people it can take a while before they get into the the way of how it works really. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It. We've exactly. got to get into a routine with these, I've noticed with things like this, a service like this. The same when I first got the uh, the echo, you got to get into a routine to use it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's getting used to what what you do as well and and how you yeah. actually activate it and everything you know there's there's all sorts of reasons why people take a while to get used to something isn't there yeah it, it's yeah. living a digital life or it's like it's kind of i mean one of the analogies that i use is i'm always telling people you know lately to check their emails 
that are on our that are, that we're, that on the, the tech ability project that Galloway's are working with Louise, where we've given okay. people tablets yeah. um, and we're training them on them, and we're saying um, we did we you know you didn't you didn't join an event on Wednesday or Tuesday, and they said and so oh I I didn't I've, I've not checked my emails, and it's kind of like me I'm like checking my emails every single day, my work ones, my personal ones, it's ingrained in me. Yeah, and, I I think, and I think sometimes it can take a while. Maybe some people, when they first get the Reco speaker or the Google speaker or whatever, it's ingrained in that that regular use, like the things that you can use it for. And people say, I was really struggling with something yesterday. And I'll go, you could have asked a lady about that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> could some could not. And he and didn't. And he didn't. So it's it's kind of like ingraining that in you, really, to, yeah. to, on a regular yeah. basis, isn't it? It's a different way of thinking. It's a different way of being, really, in a way. Yeah, for a lot of yeah. people, absolutely. Yeah. Whereas I, I, I more or less, you know, will will go to the A lady for lots of different things, you know, like spellings and and mathematical mm-hmm. equations and things like that. That I, I just, I just use the Google on my phone. For yeah. That, so. yeah, But it's it's certainly a great way of, of of you know asking questions as well. Because I mean, you get stuck with all sorts of stupid little things that you want the answer to. You know, even something just stupid as when do you plant a certain plant you know you can go to whatever and, and it'll tell you yeah how many people on here have we got with it with an a lady speaker or a google speaker just say uh, yay just say yay yeah, you yeah, got one. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, how, how easy is it to listen to a you know to listen to a book on your device i have tried it i have yeah. i say because it takes a little bit more of a, you've got to like go on an app, buy a book, yeah. and you can play it. Whereas with the real that, Sam, it's kind of like. Yeah, that real Sam, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Oh it makes it so much easier to find your book and everything what you want. It does yeah. sound good. I think that's the key for me is that, that ease of use, like not having to. like. I'm, I mean, like I use Audible, for example, but if I want a book, I can't buy it through the A-Lady. I've got to go and find it on the website and get yeah. it, and then I can play it. Whereas yeah. with, real, with Real Sam, it's more like, because you've got access to the library already, and you can just almost like your Spotify, for your musical, your Amazon, you haven't got to buy it. You, you've got that subscription, and you just yeah. listen to what you want to listen to, and that's yeah. what people want, because it's so yeah. much easier. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I quite like well, that. Yeah, man, because I use Alexa all the time. Just say, oh, oh. Play such a thing, do this, do that. And, and to be able to do it with a book, so you know, put this book on or whatever, it, it's so much easier, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. Is anybody... You anybody... can still leave where you're up to, even on the Google one, you can still leave a bookmark in a book. You, you can, know, yeah, so it'll come back story. to where you are. And, um, and actually, if you were an in-your-pocket customer... Um, in theory, I haven't tested this myself, but this is certainly what it's meant to do. You could start listening to a book on your in your pocket and then yes, come so. home and pick up in the same space on your Alexa as well. So, oh, right, that's quite um, cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. so if you, let's say for argument's sake, you know, you did eventually get to go out, <laughs> you could be listening to a book on the bus on your in the pocket in your pocket through your headphones and then come home and carry on sitting in your front room. And if you've got if you've got Echo Buds, I've got the the Just Amazon Echo Buds, and the 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 the, 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 the Amazon branded um, earbuds Echo okay. ones, they tether to your smartphone. So if I had Real Sam, I'd be able to say when I was out and about, A Lady, you know, open Real Sam because the headphones have got A Lady built into them, and you can use them that way as well. So uh-huh. you, can, you you can you can use Echo Buds as well, things like that. I think Google. I don't know if Google. The ear one as well. Yes, they're in it. They're, they're in here. Yeah. No, do they come in over the ear ones as well? No, they don't. But they do offer a pass through, so you can hear everything around you at the same time as listening to things on the headphones. It kind of filters sound in from from outside. But that well, just no, it's not why I'm asking. It's I mean, if you wear hearing aids, you can't it wear is. in the yeah. earbuds. Yeah. No, absolutely. No, they don't. They don't come right. that way, okay. unfortunately. Okay. Oh, do I uh, I I have uh, over the ear hooks for the same reason, hearing aids. Yeah. Uh, c- can you uh, plug them into the Alexa itself? 
uh, to listen. What, you um, if if yeah. you've got Bluetooth hearing aids, um, I think you can because you can pair Bluetooth with your speaker. Oh, but um, you can't. Um, well, normally these uh, ear hooks, uh, there's a jack at the other end. Oh, no, yeah. Um, most, uh, yeah, a lot of the Echoes have got, um, if you've got a normal Amazon Echo, yes, you can. You've got a you've got an, sure. a, an audio audio out um, yeah. on on the Echo. You can plug your headphones directly into into right. into the Echo. You can, yeah. But if you've got Alexa on your phone, could you not do it that way? Yeah, oh, of course you can. Yeah, yeah. 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 My point. my buds are just more integrated Echo buds. Well, yours you know? would be. <laughs> yeah, because you can say a lady to them without touching your phone. And I love that. And I love that. Um, I was out walking at the weekend and I could put the radio on or listen to a book or, or listen to music without touching my phone as I was walking. And I just go, hey, lady, stop. Hey, lady, play. just literally the same as you do with the, with, with the speaker, but yeah. they're in your ears. But yeah, if you've but got a normal... John's got an alternative. I mean, he can plug yeah. those into his phone and access yeah. it that way. And use the app. Use the A. You could use the A, yeah. the a Lady yeah. app and launch Real Sam from that because that'll work through through it as well. That would work, uh, and actually, you can do that with the Google one as well. So, oh, for the Google app, has discovered that that you can actually use the Google app, ah, um, cool, Google Home app, um, to access Real Sam, um, and obviously the Amazon Alexa one. Um, well, that's yeah, good because so... the Google Assistant's also available on your iPhone. If you install the Google Assistant app and log in, yes, then but you, you can also access have it on your Android. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. A lot of flexibility yeah. then. Yeah, so really what you it's not just um yeah, the smart speaker environment, it does now put us onto other portable devices. <laughs> right. I suppose as well if you've got Fire TV, you know, as well, because you can you can access skills and all the things through your Fire TV. If you've got a Fire TV, you know, on your television, the Amazon Fire Stick, you can ac access the A-Lady through that. You press the remote button and you can do it that way as well. So you've got, you know, all the skills and things are, are the, they're transferable across all the different devices. So that's, yeah. you know, it's a good thing you can do that way as well with the voice remote, which is quite cool. Yeah. 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 As uh, we've Louis. demonstrated before on Tech Talk. Uh, Louise. Um, on the podcast, uh, how, uh, how close is it to real-time information? Uh, for instance, oh, uh, football results. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. Liverpool versus Real, Real Madrid. Yeah. <laughs> do we have to go there? Do, do we really I'm have to go there? <laughs> you did... it... <laughs> uh, I'm I mean, trying I, to help I'll... you out, Andrew. <laughs> I know, yeah. You just, well, no, you, you wouldn't use Real Sam for that. You'd just be using a, a lady for that. So, Real Sam's your skill for like the books and, and the magazines and, and all the other things that Louise has talked about. Um, that's more of a, a standard addition to the A lady, really, your football oh, scores. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's kind of both. So, if we, Andrew's 100% right. If you're looking for news, um, the quickest way to do it is ask, ask directly. But we have real time information coming into our podcast. So if someone has, if Radio Five Live has recorded a podcast about football results last night, um, then we've got that. If Radio Five Live is one of our podcast sources, so um, yeah. So you could say, um, you know, find podcasts about football results. And it may well be that there's one that's only just been published and it's up there. So they won't they won't go to the lowly clubs like Preston North End, will they? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just pretend oh. to not know because I'm a London girl that I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna I am I am just gonna kind of like I'm just gonna come back on John's comment about Liverpool Real Madrid. Yes, we drew last night. We were out of the Champions League, but we won it two years ago and I went to the final, so I was left the trophy. So I'm pretty happy. I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, John. I suppose that my emotional well-being isn't dependent on the outcome of a sport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree with you. I'm pretty happy, me, actually. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm, e I'm easy. I'm, I'm doing all right. Yeah, but I've got I over it. you'd have been slitting your throat today, wouldn't you? <laughs> we did lose. <laughs> well, we're out of the Champions League anyway, so we did yeah. We did lose over the two ties, yeah. Um, 
What's your website? Is it realsound.co.uk? It's real Sam. So R E A L S A M dot co dot UK. Sorry, what was the second half? Sam. Sam, yeah. Right. So R E A L S for sugar, A for alpha, M for museum. Right. Okay. Thank you. Real Sam dot co dot UK. Yeah. I think what we'll do is I'll I'll definitely take you up on the offer, Louise, of getting it on our Galloway's speaker, our okay. Galloway's Amazon account, and uh, that we can have another play with it um, in our Tuesday Tech Talks. If people want, you know, me to do mm. a few more demos and things, then yeah, awesome. we can do that as well, which is okay. which I think's which I think's really cool. Also, now the virtual controls, can you fast forward or rewind by minutes or seconds or by um, chapter chapters? Yeah, so you can jump forward and jump back, and it's uh, minutes that you're jumping forward by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. so you could say, like, um, rewind one minute. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. I'm always doing that with audiobooks. <laughs> All the time. Uh, with regard to uh, audible uh, uh, reading book, books that you listen to, um, once you've read it off, off your bookshelf, is it archived or it, will it go back on the bookshelf? Um, uh, so it stays on your bookshelf until you remove it from your bookshelf. Um, so you can, you know, delete. I need, I'd need to check for you because I'm not 100% sure it's a brand new solution. How many books can sit on your bookshelf at right. once? Um, I can find that out and let you Andrew wouldn't know. Want, you wouldn't want loads though, would you? I suppose you'd only want a limited list of yeah. I don't know how many but I don't know how many books you can get through unless you're you're Johnny Five. <laughs> so well, I mean I Hello, I, can, Alice. I can still you might want stuff. reference material Absolutely. on the bookshelf and then novels. Well when you've read a novel you've read a novel haven't you, you don't yeah. necessarily want to listen what was that you were going to say there then Jenny? I listen to tons of books and I re-listen to them as well. Yeah. Yes I do. Oh I'm re-listening to a series of books I started in September for the third time already. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I, you, I mean, I, I keep going back to I'm a nightmare. Yeah, no, you miss I things and you want to go back. It's yeah. nice. I know. No, because I've just thoroughly enjoyed them. Oh, really? oh, okay. Okay, cool. I suppose yeah. it's like watching the film like again. I them as well. Isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, like watching yeah. the film again and whatever. Or listen to music That's again. It. Yeah, I, I do. It's this is Mosey. What did you say the re the books part is called? Caliban. Caliber. Caliber yeah, so Audio. It's uh, a charity. Um, or you, sometimes people pronounce it Calibra as well. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. I just I'm not I'm I just go Caliber. Can you spell it, please? Yeah. Like, C L I B R E. C A L I B R E. I-B-R-E, Calibre. Right, okay, thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Well, it, um, leading on from uh, the bookshelf, um, I still read books on Kindle. Uh, I do have a visual impairment, uh, and I read it white on black, the sharper contrast, plus it's uh, uh, a bit easier on the eye from a stress point of view. Um, but... Yeah, I have my favourite authors, and yeah. they probably have 20 books. And I've probably read 19 of them. And when I come to buy another one, I can't remember which books I've read. You know, right. uh, I, I, if I go to reread them, uh, then it will come back. But I, I never seem to remember the title. So that's what I was saying about our archiving. Uh, you might want to put it away to one side, but it's not being muddled in the new uh, the book. That's shelf, a it? well. That's a great point, actually, and that's probably something like what you were talking about before, Louise, about getting ideas from people. Yeah, it might be a yeah. good idea. Like you've got your bookshelf, and they're they're the books that you've got out at the moment, but you might have your your bookcase or your your bookseller or, or your book loft. Yeah. I don't know. You know where all your all your other books. Yeah. Um, yeah. You store them for a, another time that you can move into your bookshelf yeah, when you exactly. want to. Exactly. That's a good yeah, idea. Actually, could it could it have a facility where perhaps once you've read a book, um, 
you know, maybe it can be automatically stored um, in in red books. Yeah. yeah. And and then you can you can have a bookshelf and have a section on red books that you've already read. Well, the problem there is that Tracy. Yes. Um, I have a wife who she's a very avid reader and she reads books like I eat jelly babies. You know, I'll have a handful <laughs> of uh, jelly babies going in my mouth. Well, she's read that many number of books uh, mm. in the in the equivalent time to the amazing reader um, so it could go in the red books uh, well I thought have I read that one I'm not sure if I have um, so did you not create two lists then well I don't speedy know reader and, and John's reading list <laughs> I don't I don't know well yes that, I, I maybe that's another you... I mean maybe that's another op you know for the developers as well um Louise if, if you if, yeah. if you can create your own personalized kind of that's my re me research book list, and that's my sport book list on me. You know, my, okay. yeah. yeah. It's Maybe option, it's like different list. It. Move to move to books read, or move to books research, or you know, it, it kind of give give verbalise. Yeah, because if you've got two or three people using the same account at home. Uh, well, that's it. We are. That's We're what John's same. saying, though. If there's two yeah. of you in the house, yeah, yeah. then right. it's been able to have that distinction okay. between yeah. individual as well. Not yeah, just all of that book's been read. On personal menu. So you yeah, could yeah, have... Yeah, like, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, so John's reading list and Speedy Reader's list. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would yeah. I would compare it to something like, you know, with the A-Lady where you can do your to-do lists and you can create them with your voice and you mm. can do your shopping lists as well and all yeah. those things. Well, that's but the idea I was thinking of. Doing really. really good. Thank you very much. Hmm. But then they would act them. Say, Andrew, it's quarter past. I know. I know. Andrew, I was, I've been enjoying it. I know. I'm going to go in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to. I'm good at feedback. Thank you. He's got um, a meeting. I've got to go. I'm going to another meeting. So <laughs> I'll leave you in the hands of um, Jenny um, and uh, Jenny White, who's who's hosting the meeting now, Louise, okay, and the rest perfect. of the guys. But I, I just thank you for coming on today. It's been really good. Can you ask for the history of the books you read in the past? Can you record the history again? So there's a couple of things I need to check for you. And again, apologies, just because it's so new. I still probably don't know every answer, but right. I've definitely got a recently read list. So that's one of the ones that comes up. What I don't know is how many books that would remember. So um, you've got recently read my bookshelf. And then you've got obviously all the different libraries. So the other thing we have is a real Sam web portal. Um, and you'd be able to log David, into the real Sam web portal for us, please. and get um, get all of the details of what's in our library in there as well. So uh, let me take that away as a question though, and I'll um, I'll send an email to Andrew with the answer of how many books. Brilliant in the recently read and then can we see everything I've read oh so is there a voice guide you can ask it for like voice command in case you do forget some of the commands absolutely so one of the first things when you turn it on it says is user guide so we encourage you to do that first go through the user guide and it'll give you all the suggested phrases um, and then we email you that user guide as well. Um, and sometimes if you get a bit stuck, it will actually try and help you. So it will tell you a different way to say something um, because there are, there's kind of trigger words for each section. So it's, you know, read books, play podcasts, list radio stations. Like there's, there's slightly different words, it's not many, but they are just a few nuances that you'd need to learn up front. Um, just to make it easy. No, so do you provide training over the phone if you do get stuck not for an hour or so to get into it? Yeah, so we've got the guys who are in our support team. Um, but what we're also working on right now is we're building a load of videos, um, instruction videos, so that they're available too. Um, 
and just short ones they'll be on youtube and be on our website as well um so that if you you know want a little bit more help you can have reference do we find your um youtube videos is it real sam youtube or? yeah it is yeah real sam is on youtube thank you that's all my question yeah. from me okay thank you